In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can replicate Excel's trim function in Power Query. So Excel has a function called trim. And what it does is just removes excess spaces and leading and trailing spaces from a string of text. So if I use that on my text here, and let's just copy that down. You can see that it removes all the excess spaces between words, and it also removes spaces from the start and the end of text. Now we can remove spaces using Power Query, but it's not as elegant. So if I create a query with this table, so if I go up to the Data tab and Table and Ranges, I can trim it. So right click on there and trim the text and that's going to remove just the leading and trailing spaces from my data and if I want to get rid of the spaces in between I need to right click and replace values and I need to replace double space characters with single space character and I can press OK and I need to repeat that process And that can take a while. So it's not a very elegant solution. So is there a way to iterate this without having to manually create these steps? And the answer is yes. So we can create a query function that's going to do this for us. So I'm just going to close the editor and discard that. And I'm going to go up into my data tab and go to get data and from other sources. And I'm going to create a new blank query to do this. Now up in the Home tab, I'm going to open the Advanced Editor. And I'm just going to get rid of this default stuff in there. And I've already built the query, so I'm going to go into my Text Editor and copy and paste this. And I'm just going to paste that in there. And what this is, is a query function. So I'm creating a query function that takes one argument called text to trim, so a piece of text. And then within that text, it replaces the double space characters with a single space character. And then after it's done that, it checks that new replaced bit of text for any double spaces remaining. And if it doesn't find any, then we just get our original replaced text back. But if it does find some, then we iterate our function and go through it again. So we end up replacing double spaces again and then checking again for double spaces and basically just iterating through the function again. When this doesn't find any more double space characters, we use the trim function to trim off the leading and trailing spaces. And then the result is the result of our function. So we can press the Done button to create that query function. And then we can see our new query function right here. So there's a little f of x symbol. And we're going to have to name this function. And this is going to be the name that we use to reference our new function. So I'm going to name it fn and excel trim. And I'm just going to copy that. And then I can close and load this to save that. And in our queries and connection window, I see that function there. So there's a little f of x symbol and my function name. And now if I want to actually use that function to trim this text, I can do that by going to the data tab and then creating a from table range query. And then I'm just going to create a new custom column. So go to the add column tab and create a custom column and I'm gonna give that a name of trimmed and then I can just paste in my function name there and open bracket and then I'm gonna reference my one column so I'm gonna double click there and then close my function and press OK and what it's done is referenced my query function 
and for each row I get the results of that query function, so trimmed text. And I can just remove that column and go to my home tab and close and load that to a table in my workbook. So I'm just going to use this existing sheet and, and I'm going to put it right there and press OK. And there we go. So that's how you can use query functions and recursive formulas to replicate Excel's trim function. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see future videos like this one. That's it for this video. See you guys later.